A lot of people down there last year, so unhappy with what's happening in America. They were talking about moving to Canada. They kept saying it. They're like, we're going to move to Canada. And they said it as if they can just do that. They don't think Canada's a real country with laws. They think Canada's just their couch to come crash on for a while. Like, oh, it's rough here. I want to go to the cottage up north. I'd love to know even what people would say at the border because so many people don't even know anything about Canada, you know? Like, get to the border. I'm like, I want to go to Canada. What part? I don't know, downtown Canada. Point me <laughs> in the direction. It's crazy that they're unhappy with their president talking about moving here, right? Do you guys know how bad our prime minister would have to be before people talked about moving to America? <laughs> he would have to be eating children on TV. <laughs> And even then, people are like, I just won't take my kids around the Prime Minister. <laughs> Not moving to America. It is crazy, though, how much we watch it, right? Like, we really follow it as if everything that happens there affects us. They do things, and then we do them. They were talking about getting rid of statues, and up here, people were like, yeah, I always hated Sir John A. Macdonald. <laughs> they were like, we got to get rid of Confederate flags. And Canadians were like, yeah, we got to put some up and then take them right back down. <laughs> We watch every single thing that happens, or trade. My mom called me every day for months, freaking out, every day, being like, what are we gonna do now that Trump's in? Like, what, do you, what do you mean, we, mom? You live in Canada, what do you care? She's like, well, it affects our trade. Like, what do you sell, silk? Mom, no, you know? <laughs> like, is it gonna be hard for you to get that lumber off your hands? I doubt it. <laughs> oh.